Uh, hello again. Today we're going to talk about something that I consider to be the most important element of the board that we need to understand because it is the most powerful aspect of the smart board and that is touch recognition. In a nutshell, touch recognition is the board's ability to differentiate between the size of the implements touching it. And what that does is it frees you from dependence on the tray and it frees you from dependence on the buttons at the top of the board. Once you understand touch recognition, you will no longer have to go back and forth with the selection tool, the pen tool, the eraser tool, or pens and erasers in the tray. Here's what you want to be able to do, and this is what touch recognition enables. You want to be able to write, select, move, resize, rotate, maybe text recognize, Notice that I'm doing all of this without ever picking up a pen or an eraser or hitting a tool. Touch recognition actually makes those selections for you. And in fact, if you watch, you'll see that as I do the different actions, those buttons actually change on their own. So a pen, it switches it to pen. I want to select it, it switches it to selection tool with my finger. If I want to erase it, I slap my hand on there. And sure enough, the button has changed for me. But here's the key. First of all, you've got to get it into touch recognition mode, and that's done very simply. You do that by simply picking up a pen and keeping it in your hand. By keeping it in your hand, you're telling the board, okay, I'm now going to use touch recognition. But the confusion comes when people understand that you can erase with your hand, but they have this happen to them. Have you ever had this happen to you? You go to a race and suddenly you've got a pen, or you go to a race and you've got the selection tool. You get frustrated, you give up, and you go back to using buttons. What's going on here? Here's what's going on. I think it'll help if you understand how the board's brain works and how it assigns tools to the various touches. What happens is it decides what's touching it in the first, I don't know, a couple of tenths of a second maybe and then it keeps it in that mode until it's touched again. So what can happen is if you're tentative and too gentle, your longest finger, instead of your hand, your longest finger is touching the board first. So it thinks, okay, uh, something small is touching me, either a pen or a selection tool. Very easy fix, and it simply is touching the board more aggressively. Just slap your hand on there and erase. If you want to select, take your finger, and just poke it or draw a box around it and it will it will sense that much more readily okay um, don't be afraid to poke the board your hand will hurt far before far longer before the board is hurt it's pretty tough so be a little more aggressive move that keep writing slap your hand on there make sure you've got your eraser tool and you will now be able to do what I consider the clincher, full screen mode. If you're relying on buttons, what are you going to do now? If you want to move this, I keep writing my name because I can write it quickly. If you're relying on that selection tool button, you can't move this. So you keep the pen in your hand, you take your finger, the blunt object, that it treats like the selection tool, you select it, you size it, you rotate it, you do whatever you want with it, and you just keep right on going. Now you're in control of the board. Okay, so once again, keep a pen out of the tray, be a little bit more aggressive in the manner with which you touch the board, and touch recognition will work for you. Okay, so give it a try. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.